Now, people often ask my opinion about mixing drinks. What I would say is you don't need to make fancy cocktails. You don't need any elaborate equipment, any elaborate glasses. The most important thing is exactly the same as with cooking. You just need the best quality ingredients. Now, this, I'm not even sure if I can call it a cocktail, it's just a spirit and a mixer, is basically the same as Jack Daniels and Coke, but make using better quality ingredients. So instead of Jack Daniels, I'm using Hague Club, which is probably of the Scotch whiskies the most similar to a bourbon. I don't know if they'll be too upset about me saying that. Um, and instead of usual Coca-Cola, we've got Fentiman's Curiosity Cola, which is absolutely fantastic. It's made of natural ingredients. It's, you know, like I say, it's a similar product, but it's, it's just far better. Um, and then just a simple glass of ice. Uh, one thing I'll say on ice, uh, people are going to laugh at me, I'm sure there's going to be lots of comments about this, but make sure it's really cold ice. Yeah, I see you're laughing already, aren't you? But ice from an ice machine is only just below freezing point, maybe minus 5, something like that. This ice is from the deep freeze, so it's right down at minus 20. So it's going to stay frozen a lot longer, and it's going to make your drink cold without totally melting in it before you even have a chance to uh, drink and you're just drinking water. And then I'm just going with a really simple slice of lemon. Couldn't really be any simpler than that. Now, uh, obviously when you're adding your spirit, you want it to be enough to taste. I would say for optimum proportions for, a, for this drink, I would say you want more whiskey than cola. And just the lemon. There we go. Couldn't really get much simpler than that. 